I'm Bill Nunn from Grosvenor Wilton Company based in the United Kingdom. We're a small company and most of our work is uh, for the historic house market or museums or palaces, places where houses want to have the original style of carpet. We obviously have uh, a library of designs that go back some way, go back into the 1700s. Uh, late 1700s and we can obviously research a design we look in books we look in museums we try and find out what type of building we are putting the carpet into we try and find out a little bit about the history we were approached um, by uh, textile historian Mary Lou Davis she asked us to come up with some ideas for a uh, Brussels weave carpet and the, the description was flowers flying over the floor. So we searched through our original design papers and we found the design of what we call now the basket of flowers and that is what you're having. It is uh, originally designed in 1843 and to my knowledge has never been made since 1843. So um, this is a unique carpet for Emily Dickinson Museum. We found a design and it, I think it was love at first sight. It, we didn't need to go much further. And then when we discussed about colour, it was um, for rather than try and recolour it for a modern day, it was probably better to use and match as closely to the colours on the watercolour point paper. And that's what we did. And the colours are quite bold they're not for the faint-hearted and um the i think they they will or they do look stunning and uh they are true victorian designs the advantage of a brussels especially using a worsted yarn you get very sharp pattern definition and also you get tremendous brightness of color that you don't always see in a cut pile in the early days of jacquard weaving the designs were created on uh, a paper that all intents and purposes is a graph paper. And it's divided up into little squares and the designer or artist painted them in by hand to, to create the design. The point paper for the basket of flowers is a miniature painting. So it's four times smaller than the actual carpet. So it was quicker for the artist to produce. and. That information then was transposed onto jacquard cards that go on top of the loom that create the design. Jacquards are cardboard strips with holes punched in it and where there are no holes or sometimes where there are holes, the design is created. It also helps the loom select the colours from the selector. So this is it's probably the earliest form of computerization. The, Jacquard has not changed one bit in the last, well, since we ever had jacquards, which is 100 and 200 years nearly. The jacquard hasn't changed at all. The only thing in today's world, you can have a computerized jacquard, which means that instead of cutting thousands and thousands of pieces of cardboard, you put it onto a disc and stick it in the loom and away it goes. So it means that we can do complex designs relatively efficiently nowadays without a pile of waste. All the point papers we have left uh, or copies we have are all hand painted so they're actually works of art they are watercolors. Um, the, they stopped painting probably in the mid 80s when computer CAD design took over and obviously we now use computer aided design all the time. There's no watercolors or painting anymore, which some say is a pity, but you know, it's a lot quicker and means we can change colors, change things much quicker um, and create complex designs in a fraction of the time it took to do by hand. Then once we get the yarn in and we get it all approved, it has to be wound, put onto the loom and woven. The actual weaving for the carpet is prob probably less than 10 days. But then once it's been woven, it goes through a process called picking, which is where a skilled young lady repairs any flaws in the carpet, pulls out any stray tufts, anything that may need looking at, she deals with. Then it goes to finishing, 
where the carpet goes through a steaming process, which pulls out any fullness in the fabric. And then bef before we roll it up to deliver it, it goes through, a sh oh, not in your case, but in um, if it was a cut pile, it'd go through shearing. But I mean, the Brussels doesn't need to be sheared. So it's quite a long process and it is still in this day and age, extremely skilled. I mean, a, a weaver back in the day would have had a five year apprenticeship. So, you know, nearly as long as a doctor or an accountant. Grosvenor Wilton is one of the last remaining fine pitch Wilton weavers left in the world. There's, to my knowledge, there's about four of us left in the world and that's it. Without those four companies, these beautiful Wilton carpets would not be able to be recreated. So it's vital that that people understand that we need your help to keep us going. Because uh, only us now left in Britain doing it. So it's very important.